Hey guys, and welcome to another uh, craft sort of artsy video. I have no idea what to call this, but I am just going to call it some sort of craft video. Um, so I have noticed that on the interwebs, there have been some new things going on and about where some, I want to say some artists have been doing some new craft sort of things. Uh, I do watch a couple art channels myself and I have enjoyed watching them do some of these craft things. And I actually wanted to see how um, my take would be on one of them. Um, how my experience is with one of them and I just wanted to bring my experience with you guys So you guys can watch me either be completely miserable or have the time of my life. So let's get started So what I'm actually talking about is one of these craft kits right here so um, I know it might be a little shiny because of the lighting and all that nonsense, but uh, I've noticed online there have been a lot of, uh, I believe it's called needle felting kits going on and around, and it has been um, quite the stir. Uh, I didn't even know about this until I think a couple channels that I normally watch uh, did it themselves, and I'm like, ooh, that looks like a lot of fun because you're literally making um, a sort of creature or some sort of object out of fluff and literally just like discombobulated fluff so I want to see if I can make something out of this it will be really cool to see how it, I do it um, see what kind of journeys or kind of struggles I go through so I'm gonna put this over here some of the tools that I do know that we're going to need is going to be a believe a um, felting needle uh, I have one that has three kind of let's see if it's focus three needles in it now this one can actually come apart to the point where you can actually take them apart come down here and then you can see how it can take them apart so you can take um i believe uh two needles is for like line work one needle is like <laughs> jesus christ one needle is um i believe like um dang what's the dang word i'm looking for uh delicate pieces or just kind of making like delicate lines or I'm not sure what would be like a delicate maybe the, the mouth or something like that would be like a delicate piece of um part I don't know but yeah you have the option of having um three needles which is kind of nice um because I believe if you have three needles it just goes a lot faster is what I'm reading from the little script from the little thing uh, I'm, I'm words words you guys know words are my best friend it also has the option of being uh, lengthy so you have this uh, longer length right here, or if you want to go a smaller length, uh, you also have this length right here. So it's like more, um, I'm not sure how, which one I want to go for. Maybe I'll just go the longer one because you got more surface. I believe um, we're also told to just kind of use, uh, let's see, I have some foam over here. I bought two kinds of foam. I'm not sure which one to actually use. Uh, this one's still in the freaking packaging because I'm not sure. I heard the, the person told me it's very crumbly. But I also have some styrofoam, some basic styrofoam right here because I believe they said that you do not want to be doing this or stabbing or poking straight down at a hard surface or else you're going to break your needles, which makes sense to me. So I bought two pieces and trying to see which one I like or prefer to use my surface on. But I have the instructions over here. It is unfortunately in, I want to say it's Japanese because it says Japanese craft kit. And I went about and took it out beforehand to try to see if I can, um, this app that I have for Google Translate to see how well it works to translate things. And it actually looks, it actually works pretty decently. So I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, it seems, it's good that it has a bunch of pictures here to kind of figure out what you're doing. Uh, even has like the sizing, I believe even on this side right here, it has like a little measuring so you can kind of know exactly how big everything's going to be. Uh, so I'm going to have to use a combination of the app and praying to the dear gods that I understand some basic uh, instructions, <laughs> basically. Uh, but I am looking forward to seeing how this goes, so let's get into this. So we have this craft kit I found at Etsy. There, I believe there's some that could be uh, really cheap, like cheap cheap like a dollar or so but this one was on Etsy and so it was not a dollar um, so we have a bunch of colorings I believe this is the eyes let's see I'm trying to look at uh, I don't want to take these out I know for the love of God I'm going to lose them but they're actually like a blue color I just want to take a look at them uh, they're actually uh, like a blue eyes so I'm gonna put those on the side before I lose them off into the existence of um, oh my god this is a lot softer 
Like I'm like it's almost like cotton, uh, like a little bit more sturdier cotton candy. So we have them in strips. Let me move this out the way. Um, kind of like its own tail. Oh God, Ugh, I don't know how I feel about this. So we have this caramelish color. We have this light beigey one. Oh, the texture is just so weird, but it's just like satisfying at the same time. We also have this white, go, this whiting. Um, we also have the darker colors. So like these three darker colors. So I believe, um, so since I'm gonna have to use, oh God. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually buy this already pre-made. Um, so this is how it's gonna basically look at the end. I highly doubt mine is going to look like that. It has some cool pictures. Uh, I actually kind of like that. It kind of helps um, you kind of figure out how you want it to look. Uh, I think that's a great way to kind of see things. So that's kind of interesting. And then they also have like the basic, you know, shit. So yeah, I feel like the bit, the larger color is going to be this one right here. Um, then obviously the foot and like the face is, is gonna be, well the foot, the, the belly and the legs are gonna be this color right here. Um, I see that we have the mouth that's also this color. The little eyebrows are this going to be this color and then the ears is going to be this color. And then finally we have, ooh. I don't know where this one's gonna be and then where this one's gonna be. So I'm not sure if this one is going to be some of the stripes and this one is going to be the mouth. I know this is part of like the spots because you can kind of see like the reddish hue. I can't tell. Or is this in the eye? Because I know some of, some of this goes in the eye area and this might be for the striping. But we'll see. We'll see uh, if it comes into, um, if it actually has names or whatnot. I'm going to put some of the stuff back in the bag so I don't lose it because I know I'm not going to need them anytime soon for now. So let's try to clump these bad boys together. Clump, 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 clump. I'm like worried to lose any of this stuff. Put them back in the bag. Uh, safe way. And I'm going to put this one away as well because I believe it's only the longer piece, the this big boy over here that I'm actually going to need for now. So let's put this away. I'm going to put the eyes back in there because I don't want to lose that. Because it's tiny little things. Tiny little things. So I'm going to put that away. I have this one. And let's just take a quick look at the instructions. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay. So I did a little, again, I went ahead. And it says for number one. Oh, shit. All right. For number one. Make a head. Uh, with real size part pattern paper. Head base with caramel referencing below. So this one, this is the caramel one. Um, this is the caramel one. Uh, and it says to kind of do it like that. So you're gonna kind of bunch it up over here and then kind of roll it down at the end. Um, and then kind of stab it to death as it's seen in this picture to make the form of the ball. And then it says, I sometimes fix with the shape with my hands. And then it says to make some um, centimeter indents over here to kind of figure out how it is going to be. Now I'm not gonna take you guys step by step with this. Maybe a good chunk of it, like maybe the uh the once I start getting the face down in detail and maybe the legs and whatnot, like connecting it to the body. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But I'm not gonna show you guys step by step how I do this. Um, if you guys want that journey, you guys gotta do that journey by yourselves. But so yeah, it has this cool diagram over here where it shows you the basic shape. So you know, it's not like you're gonna be using a lot of it, which is actually kind of nice. So I'm gonna kind of get started. We'll, I'm gonna record everything that I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna use this one for now and see how it goes. Uh, but I'll see you guys at, at the end of this or when I get to some sort of significant point of my life. <laughs> see you guys in a bit. Okay, 
So um, while doing some instructions, so I was taking a bit of time to actually read some of the instructions. Uh, so one of the smaller sheets that we got in the kit actually uh, tells you how to do some basic shapes, kind of like the circle or like a little like um, loaf, uh, basically how you would attach arms. Sorry, I'm not even putting that in focus. And then kind of like in case, you know, you mess up just doing it in shaping and like certain ears and stuff like that, which is actually kind of nice that it gives us. And also it kind of explains how you kind of tear uh, it apart. Um, it's okay to cut it, but then you kind of have to work with the edges like I did for this one. It was a bit too big. Uh, so I had to cut off a piece right here. And then um, I kind of had to work the small um, edges on the outside. I said it's going to be a bit of a struggle to kind of work with if it's been cut. But surprisingly, it's not that difficult so far. It's actually pretty fun just kind of like stabbing it and kind of seeing it shapes. So now I did have to kind of fiddle with it with my hand earlier to kind of get it shaped back into uh, what it was because it was starting to get a little deformed. But, you know, once, you know, you kind of get a good gist of it, 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 it works pretty well. And so far, it looks like a little kiwi. So, so far, this is like a little bit of my head. Um, so I'm gonna get the little mouth part going on for the, the cat and get the eyes and I did have to buy some glue so I am actually tempted to do the eyes later because I am kind of scared to even do it right now in case it falls out and then I lose the eyes forever and then he's just a blind eyeless cat. But I'm gonna continue working on this bad boy and I'll see what next step I'm at. Okay, so, so far I have um, this head kind of done. I figure out where it's at. Uh, can you focus on there? Now it looks a little like it looks like he's seen some shit. Honestly, I feel like I messed up a little on the side of the mouth. I can't seem to quite get thin lines. Um, the nose is also a little too big, but there is an opportunity to fix it. But I just want to give you guys a little update. So far, it is easy to work with huge clumps when it comes to tiny details. Um, a little lackluster. Uh, it's not exactly the greatest so but there are some opportunities to fix some of the mistakes that I currently made so far so we'll see how that goes but just a little update hopefully uh, kind of like a, a side view of oh, those eyes uh, the eyes were kind of like the hardest part so far from my experience um, I had to cut them in half so they could fit in and then use some glue but it was still pretty difficult to get that even done but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna continue on. I believe the next step is to kind of add a, another sheet of the regular skin color to make the nose part and kind of help set in the eyes and start making up the ears. So we'll see how that goes. So uh, I think that's why they want you to have it uh, uh, this weird shape. Sorry, I'm not even pointing. This weird shape uh, because you're gonna add another layer on top and then this part back here is going to be where the neck connects to the body. So I think that's why they want it to be a slightly smaller so it's not too big. Though unfortunately I kind of made it too big so hopefully I can fix that. Um, I believe you can still fix it because once you kind of uh, start stabbing it in, it does kind of get a little smaller, but you still kind of have to be wary. Now, I do believe there are measurements for when you want to cut stuff, but it is still pretty difficult for me to read because it's not in English. So, uh, just a little update on how I am going. It's only been, well, I'll see how long it's been, but so far so good. But we'll see what, how it comes up and when I get farther, further down. So I think I'll come back to you guys when I am starting the body. Okay, so here is another update. So my cat is coming along. I feel like I did better on this eye than I did on this eye, uh, mainly because it has a better kind of shape up above the eye. Uh, and this one, it kind of has a bit more of the eye lining, but it still looks pretty cute. I have the ears on, I have the face. It looks like it's coming out pretty along. <gasps> oh, sorry. <clears throat> 
I was able to fix the notes a bit uh, by putting up the little fabric there, kind of putting a little chunk there to kind of make a lining to make the nose look a little smaller than it did earlier. But so far it's looking pretty cute so far. So I am on the next step where it says, so I've done all these steps over here, all these steps right here and the fronts over here. Uh, and I also finished cleaning up these parts right here, making the outline, our little, little bits right there and so now I'm actually on number two which is actually if it says over here create a base body and, and tail so that is what number two is going to be about so I'm going to be making the tail and then I'll be going to the next part where it's connecting all the body parts together uh, so we'll see how that goes I'm going to kind of follow along with the instructions and then I'll see what I can come up with just want to let you guys uh, know on the update so far uh, while I am working on this I'm kind of listening to um, so all Markiplier's older um, Let's Plays while I kind of work on this because uh, it just takes time and it takes kind of some concentration. And I'm not filming, filming all of it because I kind of need to have my face like really up in this thing to kind of get, um, just kind of look at it and kind of get better details. Uh, but well, yeah, I'll keep updating you guys and I will be right back and see how this goes. Okay, so I have a little noodle cat. I spent some time making some legs. I also spent, um, well, my cat is uh, uh, pretty much a spider at this point. But it says um, in the instructions uh, to actually put these uh, noodle arm things on the cat. Uh, it says to make the angles I would have to kind of like uh, stab it in the angle, but I think I want to put them on the cat first. So I'm going to put, I feel like this should have been a lot smaller. Because um, these apparently are supposed to be fucking enormous. I don't know why. It says 13 centimeters and I feel like that's not supposed to be the case because these look way longer than they should be. Um, and I couldn't find any other information that says anything about how long they should be. In the picture, they are a lot smaller. But when it says measurements, it says 13 millimeters. And I have a ruler here. So this is literally supposed to be, let's see, half that size. And that honestly seems more like the truth than what the instructions say. So I don't know what that's about, but... I might go along with that. So these are supposed to be only slightly longer. So I still have a lot of space. So I'm not sure if I should cut it or I should just let it be. I honestly might cut it a bit. So I'm gonna just do it based off of the picture because the picture has so far has not let me down. I'm gonna give some leeway for that. Let's see. I'm cutting it off the camera right now. So yeah, so it's supposed to be this length instead of this length. So that's kind of like a huge difference. And it actually looks more accurate to when you put it on the cat. So I'm going to snip those off. I'm gonna start stabbing the, the arms into the cat, start giving it more of a pronunciation. And then, but yeah, that is my update and getting down to the legs. And it's almost, once you're done with the legs, all you gotta do is finish off with the tail, add the little designs, and you're pretty much done. So hopefully I can record all of that for you guys. And I'm going to be back. I'm just going to speed through this and you'll see uh, my process.
Okay, so this is going to be the last update. So I finally finished this little kitty right here. I think he came out pretty good. Um, there are a couple of things I wish I did a little better. So I think I do want to bring up the fact that I think I was reading the instructions wrong. So the thing that I thought was the arms was actually the tail and the tail uh, it came out fine. Uh, but so far it looks pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job. So with my first time needle felting, I want to say it I did I did good. I think this is something that's going to be fun to do in the future, uh, more like on my own personal time. So it is a fun project to kind of get to your get yourself to know. Um, I do highly recommend it. I might do another outro later on, but for now, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little bit of crafting. Um, he is very adorable. He came out pretty cute, even though he is a little scary at sometimes. I think like. Just like he watches you wherever he goes. Uh, I feel like I did mess up a little here, a little there, but it was still fun to kind of make. I think I might continue fixing up parts of him uh, on my own time, but so far he is good to go. He is cute. And honestly, um, in the kit, there is so much more felt left over, so it's almost like you can do another kitty in case you uh, messed up or if you just want, now that you have practice, you can actually give it a go again. So I think that was really nice for, I think, $28 I think it was pretty worth it I do hear that there are some craft kits that are a dollar uh, for one like set but it this was fine this was just my first time trying I haven't found ones that are that um, cheap but anyways I'll see you guys uh, next time hope you guys enjoy this episode likes and comments are always much appreciated and I'll see you guys next time peace out homies